Introducing the ultimate solution to your belly fat loss journey. 8 Strategies for a Healthier Life This video is intended to help you maintain a trim midsection, while also improving your overall health and well-being. Don't let belly fat hold you back any longer. Keep watching this video to learn more. 8 Strategies for Belly Fat Loss and a Healthier Life Maintaining a trim midsection can extend your life in addition to making you look fantastic. Heart disease, diabetes, and possibly cancer are all associated with larger waistlines. Additionally, losing weight, especially belly fat, enhances blood vessel performance and sleep efficiency. When dieting, it is impossible to target belly fat directly. However, losing weight in general will help you have a smaller waistline and, more importantly, it will help you get rid of dangerous visceral fat, which is a type of fat in the abdominal cavity that is difficult to see, but increases the risk of disease, according to Carrie Stewart, Ed D., Director of Clinical and Research Physiology at Johns Hopkins. Here's how you focus on the areas that are most important, instead of cutting fats. Try cutting carbs. While both diets contained the same number of calories, Johns Hopkins researchers compared the effects on the heart of losing weight through a low-carbohydrate diet versus a low-fat diet for six months. They found that those on a low-carb diet lost an average of 10 pounds more than those on a low-fat diet 28.9 pounds versus 18.7 pounds. A further advantage of the low-carb diet is that it resulted in better quality weight loss. Fat is reduced with weight loss, but lean tissue muscle is frequently lost as well, which is undesirable. On both diets, 2 to 3 pounds of healthy lean tissue were lost along with the fat, meaning that the low-carb diet had a substantially higher fat loss percentage. Think eating plan, not diet. It is choosing a healthy eating strategy you can follow. The advantage of a low-carb strategy is that it only calls for learning better food selections. Calorie counting is not required. In general, a low-carb diet encourages you to consume less problem items, such as bread, bagels, and sodas, which are high in carbs and sugar and low in fiber and more high-fiber or high-protein foods, such as vegetables, beans, and lean meats. Keep yourself moving. Abdominal fat is burned by exercise. One of the main advantages of exercise is that it has a significant positive impact on body composition. Exercise appears to be particularly effective at burning off belly fat because it lowers blood insulin levels which would normally tell the body to store fat and stimulates the liver to use up fatty acids, especially those from nearby visceral fat deposits, according to the expert. Your goals will determine how much activity you need to lose weight. This can entail 30 to 60 minutes of moderate to intense activity almost every day for the majority of people. Lift weights. Even little strength training combined with aerobic exercise promotes the growth of lean muscle mass, which increases calorie expenditure throughout the whole day, both at rest and during exercise. Learn to read labels, analyze and contrast various brands. Certain yogurts, for instance, advertise that. They are low in fat but are actually higher than average in carbohydrates and added sugars. Foods with high fat and calorie content frequently include salad dressings, mayonnaise, gravy, and sauces. Stay away from processed food. It might be challenging to reduce weight as packaged goods and snack meals frequently contain high amounts of trans fats, added sugar, and salt or sodium. Pay more attention to how your clothing fit. Then the number on the scale, the number on your bathroom scale might not vary much as you. Gain muscle and reduce fat, but your genes will get looser. That demonstrates improvement better. To lower your chance of developing diabetes and heart disease, your waistline should be less than 40 inches for men and less than 35 inches for women when measured around. Spend time with people who care about their health. 
According to research, if your friends and family are making healthy food choices and exercising more, you're more likely to do the same. Thank you for watching my video. Subscribe to get regular updates on my channel.